Why did Nikola Tesla start using Sanskrit terminology in his scientific work? A remarkable meeting of minds took place when Swami Vivekananda met Nikola Tesla and introduced him to the Vedic concepts of Akasha and Prana. Akasha is space, but not just empty space, it's a field of potentiality from which everything in the universe emerges. Prana is the fundamental energy of the universe that brings Akasha into active manifestations. This interaction between Akasha and Prana symbolized the relationship between matter and energy. Tesla sought to mathematically prove the unity of matter and energy. Although he was unsuccessful, Albert Einstein would validate this idea eight years later with his famous equation. But the Vedanta goes further, suggesting that this reality, this intricate dance of energy and matter is merely the outward expression of a deeper, all-pervading consciousness called Brahman. Meaning, we are not just participants of this flow of energy and matter. We are manifestations of an infinite intelligence that creates and sustains the universe. In essence, we are not separate from the cosmos. We are the cosmos. 